It's December 28th, 2014, and I got a new vacuum that I've always been wanting. It's, the box is right behind it, and I got it. It's surprisingly different. I'm using my tablet. I got the GoPro, but it doesn't work. I need a mic. This is the Bissell Liftoff Multi, Multi-Cyclonic Pet. Um, this is not, this is a Model 8, 9, this is a Model 8, 9, Q, I think it's an 8, 9, Q, 9, I think. It's a 12 amp maximum power. And we'll go through the features and the box. And this is part one. And as we go through, we will move the vacuum up out of the box's way. Give me a minute, you know, I'm only doing this with one hand. Ah, there's the box. I got a dog on it. From every year they do this thing, and um, there's this dog named Otis that uh, won the contest, and I don't know what place he won in first, second, third, or fourth. You can You can pause it there now. That's the story, and uh, I won't review it from the box. I will review it from the actual vacuum. So we have the 15-inch wide brush hole dual-edge cleaning. I kind of figured out the dual-edge cleaning kind of works. Just that side really doesn't pick up paper so well. Um, you have your brush switch. That's a Factory shutting out. There we go. That's the factory setting. It is right in the middle. We we keep it one down. And there's low carpet and all. Oh. We have the filter drawer. Um, this is only like it was 25th, so 26, 27. This is only a three-day-old vacuum, and look how dirty it is. I I this thing is awesome. I love it. So there's a filter. And then it says, multi cyclonic system, extend suction power, plus easy empty dark container. Look, you just do that, pull it out, and dump it. That's all it is. And the instructions are on the back of mine. So. Um, you have your, up here, here's your cyclonic action. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The multi cyclonic system. There's one cyclonic system on the outer. And then there's some in the there's a one in here. And on the back, instructions again. So, place this back in. And you turn it this way to lock. You have your power. You have your power switch and your brush control switch. It says, press to remove for portable cleaning. That's the portable cleaning load. It's really dark. You don't get it. Then you just slip it on the two front tabs and push it into place. As you get to the side, there's your. That's a 30 foot cord. 30 feet of cord. And on the back front again, we had the turbo pet eraser, which I have to fix a little bit. But it's great back. Hit your cord hook. Then you have your upholstery brush with the little label right there. So, and then here's your internal hose, which is very stretchy. I'll pull it out for you. I'll pull it by this tab. They pulled out. But you gotta hold the vac. If you're in portable cleaning, you gotta hold the vacuum. I have no clue how long it is, but oh my god. And the wall's right there. It's all the way over there, so. And look, it, it comes back to length. I'll have, I keep uploading, I keep making videos and not uploading them. This one I'm definitely going to upload. There you go. And then you got your, um, what's it called? Your, the connector. Oh, yeah, your extension wad. This is where you connect their hose, and then you connect your tools down here. And then what you do is, 
have to hold this with my feet in order to get this to... You twist it, which way you twist it. If you're holding it like this, it's a twisted. Here. You can keep it standing. You can adjust it to any height and then lock it this way. Unlock it. So I'm gonna unlock it. And that's how long the inside trip watch pretty much will go. And I'll show it in this again. And then I'll replace it with the tab down there. I can't see that. With the tab. Just tap down there. And you just snap it in. Here we got the HEPA. HEPA Media it says it um, hasn't even got really dirty yet. That's the. Like, really clean. And this is the crevice tool. And by the way, um, I'll also show you in a different video later on. I need to step the curl tool back in. This thing almost has no loss of suction. I'll tip down the back. I'll do a part two as well. You have your long brush. That's where it kind of restricts with the paper. The paper just spins there. But I thought it should be pulled. I think the hose should be right there in the belt. Well, the, I saw of a new design I'll talk in another video or now. The belt drive will be right in the middle. And the, there's going to be a hose here and a hose there. And there's going to be um, one brush driving. And they'll both be driving dirt right to the middle. So this one will be driving dirt this way, and this one will be driving dirt this way. Without the belt restriction. So, that was my... Get that two one machine. Let's see if I can find the manual. I'll show you. I'll show you the manual. I don't know, but there's supposed to be a yellow... Oh. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. So here's a manual. Uh, let me put this back where it should. Seven, nine, ten. Let's just go here. So here's a manual. This is for models. Mine's an eight. That that's my model. Eight nine Q nine. And there's, I think this model is a 1.8 Z6 series. So I guess that will be my re review of this um, Bissell Liftoff Multi-Cyclonic Pet. Subscribe, like, and comment. Bye!